is it to go one out there, everybody? This is Speedboy14 on my playthrough of the, of the Legend of Zelda Battle Quest from Nintendo Land on the Nintendo Wii U. <laughs> Excuse me. So, uh, last time we did the standard levels and we defeated Ganon. Now we're going to do the extra levels. These levels are a bit harder than the levels we just did, so... If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'd really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified every time I make new videos. The exciting feature of the channel. You can request your favorite level or your favorite um or your favorite point of interest in the game in the comments below. Um also let me know down in the comments below for a question of the video. Um, I would really love to know. I would really like to know what do you like better, the extra levels or the regular levels in the game? I have to go blow my nose real quick and then I'll see you when I'm done blowing my nose. I am back, so that didn't take too long. So now we're gonna do level 10, the Sacred Grove. All right, this is a very unique level right here. So these extra levels are really fun because they're really unique. Excuse me. We'll get introduced to a new enemy in this level, so. And the enemy we'll be introduced to is actually the green shoes. You know you have the red shoes. The green shoes, if you shoot at them, they duck. And what you have to do is you have to shoot them again when they come up. But don't worry, it's not hard to time if you're trying to do it. I'm just saying that just because you're using this playthrough as a guide. This level's actually not that hard. This level's actually pretty easy. Because it's just the first extra level, so I understand it being easy, so it's not that bad. Alright. We're doing pretty good. Come on. Alright. Take that. Watch out for the archers. Okay, so just do that. We'll get rid of the archers. So we'll get rid of the pink guys. Which are the pink mob ones. Wow, we did not even get hit once. This is a good start to this level. I knew I would do pretty good because I knew this level was easy. Um, this is going to be interesting. Look where we're going to now. Now we're in the Lost Woods area. That's quite cool.
this is a really fun level to play because it's really short and it's really easy. Like, definitely one of my favorites. Check out my single segment speedrun I did last night of Super Punch Out for the Super Nintendo. You can click on the link in the description below. Here you have some bats. Just do a charge shot to get rid of all three bats at once. That's all you got to do. Real simple. All right, we're doing good. Okay, we gotta get rid of these cheers. The green ones are the annoying ones. Once you know how to deal with them, they're pretty easy to deal with. The hardest part is just trying to learn how to deal with them. But once you get used to it, it's not that bad. They're not the worst thing ever. At least they're better than the stealth folks. That's for sure. Alright, so let's do some charge shots here. There we go. We didn't even get hit once yet. We're actually doing really good. Okay, I was trying to charge. Okay, the boss fight is actually against a big moblin with a helmet. Another big moblin with a helmet. <coughs> Excuse me. And we have and we have three archers we have to get rid of. So this is actually a pretty easy boss. You just have to get rid of the archers. Because you know how to get rid of archers. Dang it, I got hit. I didn't dodge that in time. And we know we have to dodge the big mob the big mob ones with a helmet by turning the game pad to whichever direction it says. Just like that. Pretty easy boss. Alright. There we go. Whoa, that was close. There we go, that was so close. And we won! Pretty basic level for the first extra level, it's not that bad. Alright. Now we're gonna do um, level 11, and I'm ready. Level 11 is called um, Journey to the Fire Temple. We got our 10th Triforce when we beat level 10, which was our first extra Triforce. All right, here we go. All right, we know we have some wind in this level, but this level is actually a very easy level, actually. It's actually the easiest of the extra levels. If you thought 10 was pretty easy, this level is just slightly easier. Yeah, 10 was pretty easy, too. They're both easy levels. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so... Alright. Ah, dang it. Here we have the birds up here. Let's get, let's get rid of them. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll get... Watch out for the quick mob ones. Because they are quick. You can have these guys come to the bomb stack and then shoot the bomb stack in order to get rid of them. And you, 
this beam my one does not have in a helmet on him at all, so you just shoot him in the head. Put charge shots like that, and there we go, he's out. Alright. We're doing pretty good so far. Just have to make sure time these shots, I gotta do. Alright, so we're doing pretty good. Alright. Alright. Take that. This big my boy has a helmet, so we'll have to dodge him by turning the gamepad. Phase out. We didn't even have to dodge him. Alright. We're doing pretty good. This is the last level that will have to stop those, thank goodness. There we go, we got rid of the Stalfos. The Stalfos are really annoying, I really hate the Stalfos. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm glad we didn't get hit that many times. Okay, we have tech types here. There we go. We're in the dark section of it. Take that. Excuse me. Okay, right here you just have to do something like this. Shoot the shoot both bomb stacks at the correct times. And you're good to go after that. Pretty easy. Let's get rid of these archers. Take that right in the nose. All right. There we go. We're doing pretty good. We'll get introduced to a new enemy here, which will be our boss fight here. <coughs> Excuse me. Purple Moblin. These Moblins are really fast. But this boss is really easy. And there we go. Easy boss, like I said. <coughs> Excuse me. So there we go. Alright. Well, now we're moving on to level 12. Here we go. Level 12 is called Death Mountain Path. And I'm glad we got the 11th Triforce. And now we're going to Death Mountain Path. Alright. Here we go. Death Mountain Path. Here we go. Alright. 
This level used to give me a lot of trouble back in the day. I don't have too much trouble with it anymore, but that's because I'm really good at this game now. Are they pretty good? Excuse me. So I can use the bomb stack and get rid of those guys. Take that. Excuse me. Take that. Alright, we have two spiders here. This is not good. We got rid of that spider. And we got rid of that one too. Okay, so. Right here, we have to shoot the bombs to get rid of those enemies. Take that. There we go. We're doing pretty good, actually. Like, there we go. Take that. Go! I'm just being so careful so I don't die. Alright. Here we go. gonna get super awesome right here. We can introduce to a new enemy here. The new, the, new, the, the new enemy we can introduce to is the red tech type, which they open up later, and then with the sword, you'd have to wait until they open up before you attack them, but with the archer, you can just shoot them. I love this Gerdo Valley music, it's awesome. We get to listen and listen to it in this level. There's not many levels that have this music. That's kind of sad. Take that. Okay. And that got rid of some enemies. But we overcame it! Alright, I'm just gonna stay back because this makes it easier to get rid of the enemies. Alright. Oh no! We have two spiders. And we have some tech types here. This is this is not good. All right, so right here we have to hit all eight switches right here. So we have twelve seconds to do this. If I can do it. Alright, there we go, we opened up the path to right here, excuse me, all 
We're not very good so far. Alright, take that. This is a long level, like it really is. This level is just weirdly long. It's weird how long this level is. And we still have not got hit once yet. So... We're doing pretty good. Alright. Come on, take it. Hey, these guys. This is abysmal. That was abysmal! Wow, that was so abysmal. Excuse me. That was atrocious. I can't believe I got hit that many times in a row. At least we got a heart, so that's good. Alright, so... Here's the boss of Death Mountain Path. Here we go. It is Ganon. He's basically the same strategy as what he was in level 9. Remember him in level 9? He's just as easy as that one. You just have to do the same thing. Time left. Time right. Let's go ahead and do levels 13 and 14 in this video. Why not? Because the video is only 23 minutes long so far. Alright. Now we're going to level 13, Battle of Hyrule Field. I was glad we was able to get the 12th Triforce. Here we go. This level um, is easier than the previous one, definitely, for sure. So this level is actually not that hard if you know what you're doing. So this level is actually pretty easy if you know what you're doing. I mean, this level, let me say, is a joke. It's very easy. It's not like super easy, but at the same time, it's not hard whatsoever. This level is kind of your breather for the late extra levels. Um, here, I'm just gonna let the bombs drop. All right, we're doing good. All right. <sighs> I was just charging just to get those enemies coming my way, and I was right, they're coming my way. There we go. Alright, we're doing good. This shouldn't be too bad. 
And like I said, this level's not really that hard. Excuse me. I don't like how I even got hit once in this level so far. We're, we're lucky. Spiders, no. I hate these spiders. They're really annoying. This level's not as long as the previous one. So at least that's good. Alright. Alright. This is a really short level, wow. I told you this level's short and sweet. I told you, this level's easy, I told you. Field we go. This is a not time version of Hyrule Field. This looks awesome. I love this. Not Hyrule Field with a not time setting. This is awesome. When I first played this back when I was a kid, I was like, that looks awesome. Because I had no idea there would be extra levels in this. And then that makes it even more fun than the first one. Okay. Nothing I can do about the spider. At least the archers are dodgeable. At least I can dodge them. But ain't good. Take that. All right. The boss is actually against a whiz robe. Which is a black wiz robe and three archers. So we're gonna get rid of the archers first. The archers are gone, so the rest of it's easy. The only hard part is just the wind. When you're used to the wind, it's actually a pretty easy boss. Because this boss is really not that hard at all. You just gotta do this. Like I said, it's much easier than level 12. Now we're going to go ahead and do the final level, which is level 14. I'm ready for it.
Here we go. And it will introduce us to a new boss. All right, it is called Ganon's Last Stand. We got our 13th Triforce. Now we're gonna go for the 14th Triforce. I had no idea I would do the extra levels all in one video, but luckily I'm able to. All right, this is the hardest level in the entire attraction. I do have to say this, that this is the hardest one for sure. Okay, so right here, this part's not too bad. You just have some bats. You just have to use some charge shots to get rid of them. Then regular shots if you see just a few. Here we go. There we go. We're doing pretty good so far. That was a good start. There we go, we're doing great. This level is a test to see how good you are at the game, basically. Oh, there's no way this level is an easy level, because this level is really, really hard, like I said. This is really, really difficult, like I said. Especially if you don't know what to do. I'll probably make this level look pretty easy, because I'm good at it. But if you're playing it on your first time, it is super difficult. I've died on it quite a few times back when I used to play it when I was a kid. I don't, I don't have too much trouble with it anymore, but... I know when you try to speedrun this level, it's unbelievably difficult. Oh my gosh! What the heck? This was pretty much expected right there. What the heck? The easiest way to do this is to stay far back and then just time charge shots. Like I said, this level is crazy, like I said. I've played it multiplayer with my dad, and he cannot believe how many tries it took to beat. Okay, right here, you have to shoot the switches, because you have to stop these arrows that are bouncing off the wild from shooting. That's what you have to do to get rid of them. Basically. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good so far. Oh my gosh. Give me that heart. I need it. See, I told you it's tough. I told you. Now, this level is very, very challenging, and sometimes the difficulty of it is very, very cheap. Now, this level can overtake you if you mess up even a little bit. The minute you screw up, the minute this level overtake you. I guarantee it. 
this level's a mess. All right, we fight Ganon midway through the level. Isn't that awesome or what? We know Ganon's easy. We can beat him quickly. We can speed run this boss. Let's see how fast we can beat Ganon. tricky right here. You have to just go right here. When stand in this corner so you don't get hit by the arrows. And then shoot the two eye switches. And it opens up the gate and it stops the arrows from shooting. That's what you gotta do. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it. But the not so simple part is the timing you need. Because it is kind of tricky to pull off. Okay, take that. We're full on health, so I'm glad we didn't die once because these levels do not have checkpoints and this is a very long level. Okay, I don't think enemies coming, so I better walk up a little closer. Come here. Come here and die. We got this. We're doing good. We're definitely being it for sure. Take that right in the face. Take that. Wait, spiders here? That's annoying. I hate spiders. Another big mob on the helmet right here. Here we have to hit these four switches like we did in level 9, but this time we have to be faster. That's the harder part. There we go. Perfect. Now here we go to the final boss of this entire game. Here we go. It is against... Um, a newer version of Ganon, which is Ganon with a helmet. Alright, so basically what you gotta do in this boss is, it's, it's the same strategy except you can't shoot him in the head. You have to shoot him in the, you can shoot him in the mouth, or you can shoot him below that. You have to shoot the spike balls he sends, and then you have to dodge his attacks. You can, but this time it alternates between you turning the gamepad and pressing the buttons to dodge. I guess because it's the final boss and they try to make it harder that way, to try to trick you that way. There we go. Whoa, almost turned right. I know at that point I had to press Z and ZR to dodge. Wow, we made him quick! 
and we are done with this playthrough. Definitely. I hope you enjoyed this very long finale video. Excuse me. It was a lot of fun to make. This playthrough has been a lot of fun to do. I've really enjoyed it. I was, excuse me. I was surprised we did all the extra levels in one video. Because I thought we was going to have to split it into two parts until I decided to do it in one part, which is amazing. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite moment. Also, alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell. Be no bad time to make new videos. Have a wonderful night tonight. Sleep well. Peace, Republic of Speedboy.